morning. Today we're going to look at using Goal Seek to solve a problem that's pretty easy to solve with Excel and Goal Seek, but would be hard with pencil and paper. We have previously looked at problems that are easier just to do pencil and paper, but we want to look at some problems that are actually more Excel-like or where you'd actually use Excel. So I'm going to start with we assume when you get out of college you put $2,000 a year into a retirement account and the amount is increasing by $100 a year and you get 5% annual interest. So it's easy to figure out the ending balance from a year. You start with your beginning balance plus your deposits plus the interest earned and the interest earned is the beginning balance plus the deposits times the interest rate and the beginning balance is the previous year's ending balance. If we put that into Excel, it's relatively easy to put it into Excel. I want to view my formulas to see what's happening. So I started with an initial balance of zero. I deposit $2,000. Every year I'm going to deposit what I deposited the previous year plus my increase. I'm going up $100 a year. My interest is the initial balance plus the deposit times the interest rate and my ending balance for the year is the beginning balance plus the, the deposit plus the interest earned. And I do that for 40 years and pull it up to the top with offset so I can see it and there's a nice picture and I could do this problem with different numbers. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to retire with half a million dollars and I'm going to say what kind of interest rate do I need to find? As we've been doing before, we go to uh, what if analysis, goal seek. I want E1, that's my final amount. I would like that to be a half a million dollars. And what I'm going to allow to change is my interest rate B4. I hit OK. And it says I needed to have a 5.74% interest rate. If instead I ask a slightly different question and say, cancel that, I think I get to have my balance, but I don't get to choose the interest rate. I'll choose how much I'm going to increase each year. So I do what if analysis, goal seek. I'd like E1 once again to be 500,000. But this time I'm going to say, I think I'm going to change how much extra I chip in to my retirement account. And it says I'd need to be adding $145 each year to my retirement account to wind up with an ending balance of half a million dollars. Thank you.